हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ स्टेम टॉक विद लीडर्स एज यू आर अवेयर अ चाइल्डहुड इन एन इंटेलेक्चुअल वैक्यूम इज अ चाइल्डहुड विदाउट जॉय एट रोबो शिक्षा केंद्र वी अलाउ चिल्ड्रन टू एक्सप्लोर अप्लाई एंड इंजॉय वी अलाउ स्टूडेंट्स टू रिमूव मॉथ ईटन आइडियाज इंस्टेड ऑफ आंसर्स टू रिमेंबर वी गिव दैम प्रॉब्लम्स टू सॉल्व वी बिलीव इन योर कैलिबर क्रिएटिविटी एंड चाइल्डहुड through our stem talks with leader series we connect leaders from diverse backgrounds who share their insights through dialogue directly with you our greatest assets and hope for tomorrow friends today we have for you masayoshi sakurai masa san as we call him affectionately with us he is a re- human resource specialist from japan who helps well known companies recruit strategize and plan a former student of kobe university japan with a degree in the fascinating field of naval architecture and marine engineering he is the founder and director of zii and gawain which is a not for profit tech organization to prevent suicide in japan by creating counseling ai algorithms diving straight into the questions masa san we want to know from you what are you tinkering with these days um well not only me but my team and i are creating ai counseling system using natural language processing in japan we have a huge problem here that there are not enough professional counselors and lots of people who have some worries and concerns they would like to discuss but they can't So our system where professional counselors and AI can work together to provide counseling to anyone is necessary in the future we'd like to incorporate our algorithm into every IT platform like smart speaker to make counseling a part of everyday life that's what I'm thinking Wow sounds fascinating sounds fascinating Masa san since you specialize in HR and you consult with a lot of industry leaders we want to know from you why are industry leaders so interested in stem education Um yeah uh, I I believe the essence of stem education is to cultivate the ability to think and understand and learn on one's own The reason why this is important is that technology will become more widespread in our lives and social issues will become more and more complex. Then if you have the ability to learn spontaneously, understand and discover answers by yourself, you will be able to overcome them with your creativity and action. And each subject is just a tool, but there's no doubt that these tools will become a strong foundation to advance human society. That's why industry leaders interested in said education wow beautifully put masa san your uh, you know professional interest lies in human resources whereas your your other interests lie in ai algorithms and solving for social problems building social capital to make society community a better place for everyone and i am sure you must read a lot what book are you carrying with you these days what are you reading these days um actually i can't read books in english but the nowadays i'm reading the the beginning with infinity in japanese edition and i'm only halfway through the book but it shows the good explanations are what could change and that all we humans have unlimited potential it's written by a physicist in the us but it felt like philosophy book for me it's amazing wow beautiful i am sure our students will try and get their hands on this book uh, we will put the link of the book in the description as well masa san tell us why is hands on training so important for students at school how important that that's yes. a crucial thing uh there's a big difference between you know understanding something by reading a book or watching video and actually doing it and having the experience on your own for example me who just watched the cricket video 
and you who actually play the cricket, who has a better understanding of what cricket is really about? You know, the size of the field, the speed of the ball, the weight and the feel of the bat. And there are things you will notice only when you actually play. I hope school students will cherish those realization and sensations no matter what they do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Masasan, for opening up, uh, uh, you know, this issue of hands-on training and its importance. Our students will certainly learn from, you know, the insights you have shared. Uh, Masasan, we want to ask you on behalf of our students, what is that one STEM challenge that students will have to solve in the future? Um, yeah, there's a lot of challenge we face in the future, but I'd name the lack of drinking water. You know, according to the international NGO Water Aid, um, two billion people in the world do not have access to safe drinking water right now, and more than 1.5 million children die every year from infectious diseases due to the lack of access to it. And it is predicted that by 2050, more than half of the world population will be suffering from water shortages. So. Someone has to tackle this to change the world, so it might be you. Yes, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. That certainly will come true in the future as population burden increases on freshwater resources and climate change takes its toll on available water resources. That will certainly be a problem to solve for in the future. Okay, Masasan, you are a global leader. You interact with so many people. Uh, we want to learn from you, which is that one STEM leader that you follow on social media? Oh, that's a hard question. But uh, I have to say Elon Musk. We all know that his many great achievements are amazing. But I like the way he thinks, especially uh, first principles thinking from the physics framework, I think, uh, which is to uh, boil things down to their fundamental truths and reason up from there. That's exactly the kind of thinking that comes from STEM education. Wow, certainly, you know, he is one individual who is creating an economy worth trillions of dollars, creating jobs, and not just instigating a new thought process, but also actioning on that thought process. Uh, thank you very much for sharing the leader that you follow on social media. Uh, Masasan, you've uh, you know, indicated towards several social issues from water, uh, paucity to you know using AI algorithms to creating newer economies as you know your favorite leaders are doing what are some of the career choices that students can aspire for when they're pursuing stem education um actually there's nothing they cannot be right they can do anything they can be anything and you know astronaut and software engineer real designer or business owner or a social entrepreneur or whatever also uh, there will be many new professions that don't exist yet i believe many of them will be stem related so i hope that they will not limit their possibilities but rather nurture the passion and curiosity by getting lost in various ways as Steve Jobs said, keep looking, don't settle. Wow. Uh, Masasan, that is really, uh, you know, uh, there is so much truth to what you said. STEM education is not merely subjects, but it is an integrated way of thinking and problem solving, no matter which career an individual chooses, whether they exist today or not. Certainly. Uh, okay. So, Masasan, this is one very personal question we want to know from you and the students want to learn from you. Uh, you know, what is one hobby that you pursue which builds your problem-solving stamina? Um, I don't think people say it's hobby, but for me, introspection to catch and understand what I think and feel and write down from high school, yeah. Because that's often a very vague thing 
that happens simultaneously in my brain. You need to catch what is abstract, keep thinking about it, and dig into the concrete. Moreover, we can abstract the, the concrete thing and apply them to other cases. I think this back and forth between the abstract and the concrete helps a lot to nurture my strengths to think and problem solving stamina. Wow, your insight will certainly help our students also introspect better and move between the abstract and the concrete. So this was on an individual side of things, but you know, STEM education is a lot about teamwork and we want to know from you what are must attributes of a team player. It's hard to pick just one. Well, I'd have to say gratitude, I think. Uh, you know, we are human, not robots. In order to accomplish something as a team, we must not only impose our own opinion, but we must also be attentive to each other's feelings. I think the most important thing there is gratitude. As long as you're grateful to others for working with you, for coming up with ideas that you don't have, and for having strengths that are different from your own, you will be able to understand each other and maximize the power of the team. Wow, that's beautifully put and, uh, you know, very poetic and very truthful. You know, great gratitude is something that helps you not just understand what is around you, but also appreciate what is around you and build on it. Certainly. Okay, moving on to my next question. I want to know from you and so do our student viewers, what is your favorite equation, formula, or code, and why? I know you'll have many, but if you could distill one, what would it be? Okay. Um, by Einstein, imagination is more important than knowledge. You know, when tackling a difficult problem or issue, it is rare to have all the knowledge you need. The only way to deal with it to make the most of what you have, your ideas, your experience, whatever, then the most reliable thing is your brain. So this quote always reminds me of this. Certainly, Masasan, while doing all of this, our students, you know, since they may be new to some concepts or they will be learning new concepts, they come across failures. And we want to learn from leaders like you. How do they cope with failure? How do they deal with failure? It's an interesting question. Um, whenever I face failure, I always ask myself, how am I going to tell this story to my friends? Because, uh, you know, life is like uh, the movie you make. In that sense, it is the failures and hardship that make the story more interesting. Then I do everything that I can do to get over it. That's going to be the highlight in this chapter, you know. And a failure is inevitable. You know, later you're going to hit it. But the beating down or depression is avoidable. It's all about your choice then why don't you enjoy? Wow. Uh, Masa-san, today we learned so many things from you and we learned about so many thinkers and leaders and your personal philosophy about how to lead from the front, how to deal with challenges. Uh, you know, leaders are not born, but they are made, forged in the factory of learning and practice and problem solving. How they lead teams, read dreams and realize dreams is what we learned from you today and many, many more things. STEM is something that is to be enjoyed through practice, resolve and troubleshooting mindset. And that's what our students do at our STEM labs. Like a game of hide and seek, we try and uncover many facets of STEM education through hands-on learning we thank you, Masasan, for sparing time to be with us and share your life experiences and journeys with the students. We also thank students for watching our series and sending their questions to us, which we can ask from you and sharing this video and others with parents and peers. For those who do not have access to STEM labs 
as of now we invite them to connect with us and start their own stem clubs till the time india stem foundation reaches them thank you very much for joining us for this very special episode thank you namaste